Hello and welcome to the DocuWare for Invoice Processing Features video series. My name is Bob Mutarelli. I am a solution architect here at DocuWare. And today we'll be talking about creating and exporting booking records. During previous videos, we've seen several invoices stored through a variety of methods. Uh, one was stored through a quick match, one was stored through a three-way match, and then this particular invoice was stored using the requester approval process. But the thing they all have in common is they came to this completion process and we stopped. Now we're going to pick up from the completion process and show what it takes to create a booking record. So this invoice has already been GL coded. It was done before the approval process. Uh, we can see by the validation status it was done by the requester. In this case it was Elizabeth Cash. Uh, and all the invoice validator at this point needs to do is complete the process to go on and create a booking record or right to the end of an existing booking record. If I take a look at one of my dashboard lists, I see there is currently a booking record with the accounting period 2019-8. Now, the accounting period comes from a combination of, by default, the year and month of the bill date. So in this case, the bill date is also 2019-08 this information would get written or appended to the back of that existing booking record. If for some reason I needed to create a different booking record for let's say a different accounting period, uh, maybe we're at the end of the month and we need to go on to the next month or the next accounting period, I could specify the accounting period here using the format year, 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 dash MM for month, month. And then the new booking record would be created. But at this point, as I look at this information, uh, the GL coding is done, the invoice has been approved, I can go ahead now and confirm this and it will write to the back of that booking record. So now that booking record contains all of the information for various invoices that I've stored today. So all I need to do now is download that and store it somewhere on the file system so that I can uh, make it available to the ERP system to consume. But right now, all I'll do is I'll open it in Excel and show you what the contents look like. Here we see the file opened as a CSV, and we can see that we have the vendor name, vendor number, invoice number, all of the pertinent information that's required by the ERP system to go ahead and process these transactions or these bills uh, in order for them to be paid by the ERP system. And that's how easy it is to create and export a booking record using the DocuWare for Invoice Processing pre-configured solution. Don't forget to look for some of our other videos in the series. For more information, check us out at www.docuware.com slash invoice-processing. And thank you for watching.